uh, back in the 60s, 50s even, um, they had a lot of their furniture have these skirts on them. Well, it's not very attractive anymore. We ended up spending $480 on all 16 of those chairs and sold them all for $2,700, thus giving us a total profit of $200 thousand two hundred and twenty dollars selling just six chairs for a profit of eight hundred and eighty six dollars is my kind of flip Over the past three years, I have flipped and sold over 60 vintage velvet chairs, profiting over $7,000. Who knew that these vintage velvet chairs would be so popular and profitable after half a century? In this video, I'm going to highlight some of my chair flips over the years and show you exactly how I did it, starting with the pair of vintage velvet chairs that we first debuted on our YouTube channel. Also, if you guys are interested in a free PDF guide on the step-by-step -step process that I do with each and every one of these vintage chairs to make myself a great profit, check out the link below in the description and you can get yours. Uh, back in the 60s, 50s even, um, they had a lot of their furniture have these skirts on them. Well not very attractive anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip that right off to expose the rocker. This is where it gets tricky. You really wanna to try to get that seam off with the skirt, but if not, you can always go back and pull that too. Okay, so now that we've got the skirts ripped off, the next step is to clean the chairs. Okay, so that's just gonna stay on there for about five to 10 minutes and then we'll come back and give it a little scrub. So we have a few tougher stains. So like I said, I was gonna use this Shout Advanced. I'd say 20 to 30 minutes for one chair. All right, now it is time to put them in the sun so that they can all dry up and then it'll be ready for some staging and some photos. I'm gonna go ahead and post these on Facebook Marketplace. This is where I've found the most success. I'm gonna choose the photos that I want. I'm gonna make sure to include the ones with blemishes and then the details as well. I also make sure to put a good description on them, tell them what they could be used for and so on. All right, they are posted, now we wait. 
Super excited, guys. Okay, so someone just messaged me. It's literally been like an hour, two hours since I put these chairs up on there. Someone said, is this available? I really want these chairs. I can come and pick them up today. And I said, yes, when can you come? And they said, within the hour. So they are on the way. They wanna do some contactless pickup. So I'm gonna put the chairs at the end of the driveway and they're gonna be out of here. So I definitely had my doubts on these. Like I was a little eerie, but I went with my gut. I did it. Sold them 200. I'm so stoked, guys. This is awesome. So it just takes that one person, that one customer that is looking for that specific thing. And when that person comes along, today it happened to be way sooner than sometimes. Sometimes I have to wait a few days, a few weeks even, that one person will come along. There's so many people that are looking for things. And this is just the right item that that person wanted at the right Although time. Although I had flipped three or four chairs before starting our YouTube channel, the concept of flipping these chairs for such high profits was still so new to me and so exciting every single time. I had paid $25 for those chairs and sold them for a total of $200. $175 profit was just the tip of the iceberg. I didn't give up, I got it done. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now and then we're gonna get to cleaning up. There we go. All finished up. Boom. One thing to always remember is to get into the crevices because look at all that dust. It just needs to be picked and vacuumed out. So that's my next step here. Last step is to go ahead and finish the chair vacuuming by vacuuming the cushion. So I'm gonna vacuum both sides of the cushion and then I'm gonna let the chair dry out here. It should dry pretty quick because it's a little bit windy. And then we'll do some staging and photos. to make sure to get the Mastercraft of Omaha original design. I'm about to post the chair onto Facebook Marketplace. I'm thinking about 150 because it's in such nice condition. So I ended up listing it for 150 as I had said before. Looking back, I know I could have sold that chair for more, but we live and learn, right? Buying a chair for $20 and selling it for $150? Sign me up for $130 profit.
it's really not in bad shape um, but since it was at somebody else's house it's very 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 important to make sure to clean the furniture so I'm gonna get out my Bissell vacuum and the cleaner and then give it a good spray down and a good vacuum suck all of the dirt up I think I saw like one stain so I'm gonna get that out as well I know I've shown you guys this before, but this is why you need to get inside of every single crack there is. So let me show you. Pull this back. There's like just a bunch of gunk, leaves, dust, who knows what. So you have to pull this back. Cause I don't know about you, but I definitely don't want that in my house. Well, it's official. These chairs are seriously one of my favorite things to sell. Again, I do like picking up the paintbrush, but just ripping off a skirt and vacuuming and I can earn $160. Yep, that's right. I posted it for $160 earlier today at like 10 o'clock. It is now 5.30 and one person reached out. They wanted it. They are on their way to pick it up. They already sent me Venmo. Tip. If you want someone to be sure to come and get it, if they say they are coming the next day, make sure that you try to get that money ahead of time. I did a half deposit so that I know she's coming and so that she knows that I have the chair here for her. If people don't want it that bad, they're not going to give you the money. Make sure you get that money in order to hold it. This chair is out of here. It cost me $10, just a little bit of time and elbow grease, two hours, no cost of materials really because I already had the vacuum and I already had the cleaner. We'll give that about $2 for my cleaner. So $12, so 160 minus 12, that is $148 to pay on my student loan debt. It was just crazy how quickly these chairs were selling, but I could totally understand because they are so comfy and cute. When I started earning profits like those, I was able to kind of start branching out a little bit and testing my market with some different types of chairs. Today, I am going to be flipping this chair that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $20. And this chair that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $30. And these two chairs in Ottoman that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $80. And this chair that Nana found at an estate sale for $25. All right guys, I'm kind of on a roll here. I don't want to jinx it, but this one had a few more staples not come with it. <sighs> Another one off. All right, so all together with the pink chair, the two green chairs and the ottoman, we're at about 10 minutes of time put in with just ripping off the skirts and we've got one more to go.
this one in all took me about 10 minutes. So total time for all four chairs. Oh no. I have the ottoman for this one. Well, so far we've gone about 20 minutes. Now I gotta do the ottoman and it'll probably add on about five. Of course, it would let it would wait till the last one to be trouble. Got all the staples off of this one. Total time is about 30 minutes all together. So not too bad. 30 minutes is really not too bad for one, two, three, four chairs and one, two ottomans. So let's get to cleaning. All right, one done. And then I'm just gonna put them in the sun so that they'll dry. I get a lot of questions about bugs. I never treat for bugs or anything like that. I just really make sure that I'm buying a chair that I would be okay having in my own house. And if I am, then I'll buy it and then I'll clean it up. And that's all I kind of do for it. It really didn't take me too long between the ottoman and the actual chair itself. I'm in 10 minutes. So let's see how long the rest of them are gonna take. Hopefully it's gonna be the same amount of time. All right, one chair done. Let's get the other one over here. I need to go ahead and put this back together. So I've got my little hand stapler and we're gonna push down and staple this cardboard piece back. This is just like a dust protector type thing. So that way dust and stuff doesn't get under there. Nothing crazy. Well, <laughs> that ottoman took me one minute. So the first green chair took about 10 minutes. The second one took about 10 minutes. So we're in at about 20 minutes for the green set, which total with the striped chair and ottoman, we're at about 30 minutes. So when I was ripping the skirt off of this one, I noticed that underneath there was a lot of dust and maybe even some pet hair. So I'm gonna flip this one over and also vacuum the bottom. Another thing that I think I might do with the pink chair is to take the bottom off and spray paint it in a matte black. I just think that that kind of goes with the color pink a little bit better than the brown and I've been getting some recommendations to try it so I think I'm gonna try it with this chair. All right, so the pink chair is all finished and before doing all the cushions, we are at about 35 minutes of vacuuming for all four of the chairs plus the two ottomans. So that is not too bad. I am going to get the cushions over here, vacuum those up, and then we'll spray paint the bottom of this rocker before we list all of them for sale. Cushions are done. That took me five minutes. All right, and we are finished, guys. I told you I just flipped four chairs in a matter of an hour and 15 minutes. That is crazy. It's been about four days since posting all of these chairs on Facebook Marketplace. So I have some updates for you guys. After about 45 minutes of posting the green chairs as a set, remember the two green chairs with the ottoman, I ended up actually having someone reach out asking if they could just have one of the chairs. And I was a 
little bit reluctant at first because I really wanted to keep them together. But then I thought about it and I was like, well, I can probably get a bigger profit if I separate the two than I could if I sold them as a set. Since I was only listing them for $275 together, I could charge $200 for the one chair and the ottoman and then later relist the single chair for 180, which is what I usually sell the chairs for, and that would give me a bigger profit margin. So that's what I ended up doing. The person came and picked up the single chair and the ottoman for $200. Then I got to work on taking photos of the single green chair and I listed that. And then right around 10 hours later, I sold that for full price of $180. So that meant after spending $80 on the set of green chairs and selling them total for $380 that I came away with a profit of $300 on those two chairs alone. This chair is sold for the full price that I listed it at the second time of $195. So I bought it originally for $30 which gives me a profit of $165. As for the striped rocker and the bent wood rocking chair, the bent wood rocker went for $100 and the striped one with the ottoman went for $155. If I wasn't already convinced that flipping these chairs was a great way to earn extra money, after making $675 on a couple of hours of flipping these chairs, photographing them and listing them, uh, that definitely convinced me. So we're $30 in with both of these chairs. Let's get started. And I've gotten actually tons and tons and tons and tons of questions about if people say anything about these markings. And the answer is no. If they don't want the markings there, then chances are they wouldn't inquire about them. We don't hide them in the photos as you have seen. And not only that, but when they get here and they see the chair in person, they've never ever mentioned this bottom line here. I know it's a different color, but it really doesn't matter. So stop overthinking it and just rip. Also, another good thing to look at that I just thought of before I started cleaning is always be on the lookout for tags on furniture, even whether it's a chair or dresser or nightstands or whatever. If you find a name brand, you can picture that in your listing and then chances are those people are gonna go check it out, look it up. That adds value, especially if it's a more well-known company as well. Chairs are finished. Alrighty, we got it all ready for photos, but I did want to just touch up these legs just a little bit. Sometimes you might run into a little issue where the markers that you have, or you can't find a marker that matches the color of the legs. So this is the case, and there's some pretty rough spots on the legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be taking a little bit of gel stain and gel stain is perfect because it will adhere even though I'm not going to be sanding down all the way. I'm going to do a little light scuff sand on the surface and then we're going to put some gel stain. Um, I can go ahead and take photos once that's done and drying. I'm gonna grab my gel stain. These chairs I actually just posted yesterday. So they've been on the market for less than 24 hours. I listed them both at $200. If you're wanting to get into furniture flipping, I would highly suggest just starting with a chair. You don't really have to get any other materials. Even if you don't want to invest in a Bissell vacuum or an upholstery cleaner, you 
can also just vacuum it with your vacuum and then wipe it down, maybe spray some Febreze on it. As long as there's no bugs or major stains, people are really, really interested in these style of chairs. Some chairs sell quicker than others, but with some patience and maybe a storage area, it can be totally worth the wait. I can confirm that these chairs sold for full asking price of $200 each for a total profit of $370. With these types of profits, I was able to keep on flipping. This one's a little bit different than I have done in the past because it is not velvet. That's right, I chose to do a chair that I don't normally choose to do. I got this chair for $13 at a thrift store. So I think we started off on the right foot. Remember the goal is to try and get all the staples out. I got most of them out with this, but then the little seam cover is sticking and it's separating from the skirt part. So the staples are kind of staying. It's okay, we'll just go back later with our needle nose pliers and get those out. All right, last step before we get to cleaning is to just take out the staples from the bottom. So that's all you do. Needle nose pliers are just the easiest because you can kind of get in there. If staples are stuck, like a real staple should still stay in there and not sticking out like this, you can just shove your needle nose part in there and yank it out. That's why the needle nose is the most efficient. Look at that. Doesn't it just look 10, 20, 30 times better already? Let's get to cleaning. So the last step is to grab the Bissell and clean her up. Really quick, I just wanted to show you all that that kind of got off there. Ooh, it's dust, but it's also those kind of pilly thingies. That is gross. Can't wait to clean and see what dirty water we get out of it. So we're gonna go ahead and take some photos and then we will talk about how much I'm gonna list this for. You wanna just make sure to get all those details. So I'm gonna focus on the legs for a couple of the photos and just how beautiful those legs are. And then also just focus on the color of the chair itself, get different angles. And then of course, I'm gonna do it with everything unstaged so that they can see all of the chair. After paying $13 for the chair and then getting $150 for the chair, we are coming out with a profit of about $137. So that is a pretty good turnaround for an hour, maybe even two hours of ripping off the skirt and cleaning the chair. It's really a great profit for a minimal amount of work. That is one reason that I love chairs, as I told you guys before. If I'm honest, it still baffles me that I can earn these types of profits on these types of chairs. And really, it doesn't take much skill or talent either. All you've gotta do is grab a good chair, rip that skirt off, give it a nice clean, take some nice, well-lit photos. That's probably the most important part and then list them on Facebook Marketplace. This next flip was a technique that I had been dying to try. No pun intended. I've got some writ dye here, so let's dye a chair. I got this chair for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. That was pretty quick, so let's move on to some cleaning. Great. 
gross. And that's not even like a bad chair either. Got a pot on here full of water. I'm gonna boil this water and then once that comes to a boil, we will add some dye and then it'll just boil for a little bit longer and I'll put it into, or we'll bring it over to the chair and we'll put it on. Now I'm just gonna dip it in. We are done. I'm gonna move this out so that it can dry in the sun. And honestly, I'm gonna be letting this dry for the rest of the day. So we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what it looks like. So my plan is, since this really didn't take very well up here, you can just see a lot of the white fibers from the actual chair color. And then some of it even has some tinges of yellow. I am going to be doing a second layer of dye, a second application. Got I'm a sponge, we've got our bucket of water and dye. And so basically all I'm gonna do is dip the sponge in and then squeeze it onto the chair and it's gonna soak it right up. The point of the chair flips for us, at least, and the point that I try to get across to you is that they're quick flips and dyeing it has shown and proved not to be too quick. Once it's mostly dry here in about an hour or two, I'm gonna take the color stay dye fixative and this is going to help it stay the color that it is and so that it doesn't transfer onto someone's clothing if they were to sit down in it. Okay, we're empty and we got it all the way covered, but just barely. So again, glad I got two of these. This is gonna dry overnight here in the shop. The texture of it has really changed since I put that second application of dye on it. It's very crusty, I guess. <laughs> it's just kind of hard and I don't want this chair to be that feeling. So I am going to try something. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna take a sanding block and basically just kind of roughen up, but smooth out the roughness of the chair microfibers. Oh wow, yeah, that softened it up a lot. After three days of applying dye and letting it dry so that it's actually able to be sat in, this chair is finished. It actually turned out really nice. I'm pleased with the results. I'm actually surprised by the results. The only thing that I notice is not my favorite part of it is the way that the velvet took the water. I think I'm going to try and sell this chair for about 150. Usually I do a little bit more for the swivel rockers, but I'm just not completely confident on the way that it looks. That's just my opinion. Could you probably get more than 150 for it? Yes, but I'm also kind of looking for a quick turnaround since this chair took me four days and usually chair flips only take me one hour, which is exactly why I don't see myself dying chairs anymore in the future, but I just wanted to do this because it was a highly requested video. Although that chair still sold and it was a really fun experience, 
experiment. I spent a little bit too much time and a little bit too much money on that flip. My whole point of these chair flips is to be quick and to be profitable. And I only earned about $150 on that flip after selling it. But after you take the cost of the chair and the cost of the dye materials, we really didn't get a great ROI. Next, I got a wild hair and I started to collect a rainbow of these vintage velvet chairs. For some reason, I've still got some people who don't believe that I can take these old velvet chairs and flip them and make a pretty nice profit. So today, we are going to be flipping this chair here along with 15 more. Because at the end of the day, these chairs are profitable and they can help you earn extra money to put toward whatever you're saving up for. Enough of the talking, let's get into the flip. have hit the halfway mark. This is chair number nine. Next, we are going to be taking photos of all of the chairs, staging them. Probably we'll have the same staging set up for a majority of them. And then we'll be posting them on Facebook Marketplace. Holy cow. That was probably the craziest but coolest chair flipping video we ever did. I can confirm that I probably won't ever save 16 vintage velvet chairs to do at once because it was a lot of work. I might recommend that instead of collecting all of these, you might just kind of flip them as you find them. We ended up spending $480 on all 16 of those chairs and sold them all for $2,700, thus giving us a total profit of $2,220. After that chair flipping extravaganza, I took about a year off from flipping these velvet chairs, but I wanted to see if they were still selling like hotcakes. I grabbed these a few months back at Goodwill for $15 each, so we're in for $30.
So I went ahead and put my cleaner inside of there and this is just a Bissell brand, the stain remover. So we're gonna go ahead and get to, get to cleaning. Uh, all you do is spray the chair down with the cleaner and then you just suck it out with the vacuum here. So we're gonna do it and then we'll let them dry before we're ready for some photos. All right, one chair down. Let's do chair number two. time I would probably give it about an hour and 15 minutes from start to finish when it comes to taking off the skirt and cleaning each chair not too bad if you ask me especially if we can get a nice profit all right the verdict we've all been waiting for are these velvet chairs still successful and do they still sell for a pretty good profit the answer is absolutely yes like I said, I got these for $30 at Goodwill, so 15 each, and then I am selling them for 10 times that amount. Yes, you guys, these chairs are still completely and totally in style and you are able to sell them for a great profit. So far, these chairs have not disappointed. And honestly, it's getting harder and harder for me to part with them because I just love them each so much. I started to gather another collection of chairs and I wanted to see if different types of chairs were still selling just as well as the vintage velvet chairs. So I started branching out to test some different types of chairs in my market. Today we are going to be flipping six different looking chairs. Typically I stick to the velvet ones, but we've got a couple more styles in the mix here today. And we're gonna see if they're just as profitable as the classic velvet chair. can approach flipping multiple chairs at a time. I personally like to rip off all the skirts and then clean them all at one time. But if you wanted to focus on one chair and take the skirt off and then clean it, totally you could do that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's time to clean.
All right, time for the green chair. But before I vacuum it and clean it, I'm just gonna go ahead and reattach this seam here with my staple gun. This one is finished, is probably the quickest one in the bunch. And so I'm gonna set this one in the sun and we got two more left to clean. I've made my decision about these chairs. They really didn't come as clean as I would have liked them to. There's still several deep stains that I'm pretty sure are like really, like they're not coming out with anything no matter what I do. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and staple this back under. I'm probably gonna leave these wood pieces exposed like this and then I'm gonna try to sell them for more than we paid for them, which was nothing. So that leaves a lot of room um, for a little bit of profit, even just for uh, cleaning them up. We are now going to stage and take photos um, of every single chair so that I can list it on Facebook Marketplace. And that's a wrap. All the chairs are gone, you guys. That is crazy. Six chairs sold in less than 48 hours total. I just want to do a really quick recap on the numbers so that we can show you the total profit from all six chairs. Remember, we started out with $89 in on the chairs, all six of them. The pink ones were free and we sold those for $250. So that is a total profit of $250. And the Two yellow ones were $14. I ended up selling and delivering those for $350. So that gives us a total of $336 profit on those guys. Then we move on to the green one where we got it for 60 and I accidentally listed it for a little bit lower than I told you originally. I was gonna do 225, ended up only doing 200, but it sold within hours for that full price of 200, giving us a profit of $140. And then last but not least, that tan chair that I bought for, for $15 and I ended up selling it for full price at $175. That's giving us a grand total revenue of $975. That's very close to a thousand, but take away that $89 and we've got a total profit of $886 dollars. That's crazy. That's mind blowing to me. It really only took me probably five hours to flip those chairs between ripping the skirts off and cleaning them up nice and well. Um, it's not a lot of time for that much profit. Of course, I love a good free chair, but I have also learned to not be afraid of paying up for some chairs, especially if I know that it's going to sell well, selling just six chairs for a profit of $886 is my kind of flip. In total, I've spent about $293 on these 11 chairs. Let's get to work. Start by flipping over my chair here and get to ripping it off. Now we put this one in the to be cleaned pile. I will say too, these would be great flips for like a single person who doesn't have anyone to help them out with like lifting big dressers and stuff. And also someone who um, doesn't have maybe like a big truck, but these 
These can fit in like the trunk of your car or something like that too. So another, another perk of these chair flips. For every easy chair, there's a hard chair. This is well made, which is good, but also not good for me because I got to take this off. And this portion right here is just stapled on really well. So it's ripping the skirt off, but keeping the stapled portion on. So it just causes a little extra time for me. So last but not least, we've got this leather chair. I saw it for $20. It's not, of course, like the vintage velvet chair that I just spent cl um, time cleaning. It's a little different, but I thought maybe someone will want it for more than I bought it for, which was, again, just $20. All right, our favorite part of the video, the numbers. So starting back at the beginning of the video, we started with 11 chairs. I did add in one extra chair to the entourage of chairs and I cleaned it and listed it as well, just off camera. So we're in with 12 chairs. Total investment, $313 for 12 chairs and ended up selling them for all together a gross profit of $1,680. Then taking away the cost of goods, so our net profit being $1,367. So you guys keep your eye out for these velvet vintage chairs. If you want to do a quick flip or don't have a ton of time or don't have a ton of room, but want to earn a little bit of extra money, this is the perfect way. Sometimes I get into the groove of collecting a whole bunch of chairs and then flipping them all at once. Of course, the profits look better that way, but you would get the same outcome if you just did it one by one. These 12 chairs cost me $313 and then I profited $1,842 for a couple hours of time. So whether you are saving up to pay off some debt or saving up for a car or to go on a vacation or you just wanna earn a little bit of extra money, this is a way that you can do it. Flipping these velvet vintage chairs, like I said at the very beginning, has earned me over $7,000 in profit and each one just takes an hour or two of my time. Can't get much better than that. And don't forget down below, we've got a free PDF that summarizes this video and takes you through exactly how to flip old vintage chairs and turn them into a profit. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.